When I talk to B2B leaders about their company's growth, they're very excited and have a lot of great stories to share about how they acquired new accounts. But when the conversation moves towards their existing clients, the existing clients and the existing revenue from those accounts, I see a lot of frustration. Their existing accounts aren't growing as much as they expected. And on top of that, there are a lot of escalations, frequent escalations from the clients. And sometimes these escalations are senior management escalations. It starts uh, like a simple email where you're marked in, in CC by the client's team. And in due course, this escalates into something where you need to get involved. You get sucked in. And then later it dominoes into a client attrition. So it's a real concern. In fact, as per uh, recent research in uh, B2B, the client retention rates can be as low as 40% if you don't take care of uh, the attrition or address this duly. So this is a real pain point. Another frustration that I hear from B2B leaders when I talk to them is that in spite of all the technology and processes that we have today and the companies uh, that have invested heavily on it, they see that the client orientation of their employees is not good, it's very poor. You see, unlike consumer business, B2B companies, you know, immaterial of which sector you are in, whether you are in manufacturing, industrials, IT, ITES, telecom, technology, even in service organizations, they heavily invest uh, in specific technology which is aligned to the client, specific expertise, resources, equipment, and all the stuff aligned to the client's needs with a mere hope that the existing accounts will grow substantially. And if that doesn't happen, it's a big pain point. So whether you want it or not, the moment you start doing this, it shapes your overall organization's strategy. And uh, it kind of has a long-term impact on everything that matters to you. And so one of the other big pain points, apart from the ones that I talked about, that I hear from the CXOs in the B2B sector is that when they meet with their counterparts, the client's organization, the decision makers, right? And uh, they expect the talk or the conversation to be revolving around strategic growth opportunities, how they can collaborate and stuff like that. But Ultimately, you know, petty operations and delivery related issues are brought up by the client. And uh, if you uh, start with this, then there is no scope for any strategic conversation, right? So uh, this is, in fact, according to me, one of the reasons why many leaders uh, shy away from having formal meeting routines with uh, their counterparts, with the key decision makers in the client organization. This actually is a big bottleneck for building relationships on long term. The other pain point is getting beaten down on the price war. You start with an assumption that there is something unique about you and your organization. So you price your services or your products at a premium level and you have some justification for that. For example, you have a strong R&D, you have an IP, you have a brand legacy and, and, and stuff like that. But as time progresses, it becomes very difficult to justify or sustain that kind of pricing with the clients. Either the clients don't really see the kind of value or there are others in the market who can offer very similar value at a much lower price. So this is a very real problem and it's prevalent across sectors. Uh, in fact, across all sectors in B2B. And when leaders try to do some diagnosis, it pinpoints towards stuff like the org uh, culture and uh, talent and things like that, right? And uh, it boils down to lack of accountability, lack of execution culture, lack of collaboration and stuff like that. So you tell me, uh, are these the real root causes or are these just mere excuses for why we are not able to grow, for why we have these problems?